Okay, so we have two questions. One, what's in the box? Number two, does it work on Linux? Does it feel like a real turntable? Yes, it does. Is it as expensive? Yes, it is. But the main question is, does it work on Linux? So let's hook it up. Look at the tested and the there before the grace go out. I keep counting. I'm gonna be using my trusted tuxedo laptop, so let's see if it works. Bam. And I'm running Ubuntu 1810 uh, with Mix, the software for DJing with Mix 2.0. So let's see what happens when we plug it in. So in theory, this is a, a MIDI device with a USB thing, USB port. If we connect it to this, we should see something. Okay. Let's see what it does. I'll flip the screencast. Okay, so we here have the the base, the baseline. Plug it in. Okay. Nothing. I mean, we see it here, um, but it doesn't say what it is. Okay, so let's go and start up mix. A program. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Set it up quick. Okay. Okay. And then if we go to options, preferences again, controllers. It does recognize it as RAIN 12. Wow. Let's click Enable. Apply. Okay. Let's load a track. Driving home for Christmas. And let's do, uh, I think we have to do Enable Line Control 1. Uh huh. It's probably not vinyl control, input, vinyl control. No, 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 okay. It's not vinyl control, it's MIDI control, I guess. Yeah, okay. okay here we don't have it, it's not written here. Okay, nothing, just to cancel. Okay, if we do, if we play, nothing happens, of course. Nothing happens. I'd be stupid. I mean, that'd be really awesome, but... Uh, it doesn't happen. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do the... Learning Wizard... Learning Wizard thing, and then let's choose the control. Okay, Transport, Play. Play on Deck 1. And I would hit the start stop button. Uh huh. 
Okay. It said, if you're mapping a button or switch, press or flip it once. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, choose the control, mixer, no, transport, play. Play deck one. It did recognize it. Okay, I have another idea. Since the mix control thing doesn't work out of the box, it's hard to test it. Okay, let's go and try to find a program with which we can um, uh, read MIDI signs. Okay. Okay, reading MIDI. Linux, okay, mini monitor. I'll just do the the KM mini mon. Try to install that. Okay, um, okay. Let's do it. That's how it is in Linux. Nothing works out of the box. <laughs> so while we're waiting for this to load, uh, you can hit the subscribe button and uh, more videos like this are coming up. I'm trying to, you know, restart this Artist Using Linux page or Artist Using Linux channel. So be free uh, to also hit the notification button that you are aware of the new things I'm uploading. Okay, now I'm installing the whole environment, the KDE environment, which I kind of wanted to avoid. This is good. I really like the feel, yeah, we can do this in the meantime. I really like the feel of it. So if it's a MIDI device, how does it work? The bladder is screwed on to this little knob in here. Um, and I guess then this thing sends the MIDI information needed for the uh, transport control or whatever you call it, the scratching and the searching of the files. So basically anything else should be MIDI information. So speed should be MIDI information, I guess. And then the Q modes here should be MIDI information. And then I guess these two don't really have a purpose. Or maybe they do. But I guess my point is everything on here should be MIDI information. That should be readable by Linux. Okay, let's go and uh, do this. What's the name of the program again? Okay, anything I touch basically gives me something. Everything is MIDI assignable. So that means that this thing works on Linux. That's the answer, guys. Now let's go and map the thing to mix. Who's gonna do it? Thank you for watching another episode of Artists Using Linux. Uh, we'll be back soon.